Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to take you through several predictions on the future of AI by Sam Altman, the CEO and co-founder of OpenAI. Now, if you're not familiar with OpenAI, it's an artificial intelligence research and development company founded in 2015 by Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and several others. So with the recent popularity of ChatGPT and Dolly, Sam's been doing the rounds and talking a little bit about how he sees the future of AI. So I wanted to make this video to distill some of those predictions as well as to add some of my own thoughts. As always, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing below as it really helps me grow the channel. All right, let's get started. Prediction number one, AI in its current form is getting really good at taking directions, but it can't think for itself or really do much of anything without a human telling it to. For example, it won't go out and solve cancer by itself, but it will potentially help humans get closer to that goal as an assistant. So, the prediction here is that one day, this will change, and AI will be able to begin making new scientific discoveries of its own, possibly solving complex health problems, mathematical paradoxes, clean energy breakthroughs, etc. Prediction number two. This one's really fun and kind of meta. So, human societies have historically always been limited by two things, available energy and available intelligence or knowledge. Effectively, we've only been able to do things up to the point where we don't have the energy to do something, and or we don't know how to do it. Going to the moon, for example, was not possible until 1969, when both our levels of energy and knowledge had reached a certain point. AI is about to drastically impact our pool of available knowledge, or cognitive output and it's likely to impact energy as well. As a thought experiment, imagine what would happen if, in just 10 short years from now, we harness the power of nuclear fusion and are able to deploy clean and nearly limitless energy across the globe. What profound impacts would that have on society? What about the drastic reduction or even elimination of cancer? Interesting to think about, to say the least. Prediction number three. Over the next few years, AI will become prevalent in the business sector as a productivity assistant. Now, I've talked about this one in my other videos, and it's the prediction that I think is most likely to come true in the shortest amount of time. Already, OpenAI has demonstrated with ChatGPT that AI chatbots can greatly improve productive output in several meaningful ways. And it's likely not long before we see B2B or business-to-business -business companies start to build chat assistants that are specialized to a variety of industries and use cases, and even offer the ability for companies to train those assistants on their own private data. Prediction number four. The next trillion dollar company will be built on top of AI. Perhaps it will be a Google competitor that radically improves how we search for data and interact with the internet, or a biotechnology company that rapidly produces a variety of groundbreaking medicines or maybe even an energy company that patents a scalable nuclear fusion reactor. Whatever it is, this one will be interesting to watch unfold, as I think AI will propel humanity forward much like the Industrial Revolution did several hundred years ago. Prediction number five. There will be a handful of massively trained models that will be used by most companies as the foundation to their AI systems. And those companies will only build on top of those models or fine tune them, rather than building their own from scratch. So what does that mean? Well, for AI that's built by feeding massive amounts of text into computers, also known as large language models, or LLMs, this process can be incredibly time-consuming, expensive, and painstaking. So, the idea is basically, why reinvent the wheel or build from scratch if you don't need to? Similar trends can be seen in much of the software industry, where, for example, if someone's building a program, they don't also build a whole new operating system to put the program on. Prediction number six. This one's less of a prediction than it is a mandate, and that is to get up to speed now. This is another one that I agree with very much, and what Sam is trying to say here is that progress in AI is inevitable and likely to accelerate. Whether we like it or not, it does no good to worry about the implications this may have for our job security. One thing that makes our species so special is that we're masters at adaptation, and this time's no different. So do what you can to learn to leverage these new tools to your own advantage before the Terminator er, uh, AI comes for your job. Prediction number seven, multivariate models will arrive in the next few years. Today, AI is getting really good at doing singular tasks. Dolly can create images out of text prompts and ChatGPT can create conversational responses to questions, but neither can do both. And this is what we mean by multivariate. The ability to do multiple things through a single model or interface. 
What this looks like practically, if we go back to the productivity example, is that we could ask an AI to create a text report on economic conditions and to include pie and bar charts and supporting data, all through a single interface, and perhaps even have it generate video content as well. And now our eighth and final prediction is that AI will drive organizations back to the office. Sam believes that the most innovative and most valuable companies of the next decade will be ones who coalesce back into an in-office work model. All right, well, that's everything. So what do you think? Do you have any predictions of your own for the next five to 10 years? If so, go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know what you think. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.